Welcome back to a new video here. So in this video, I will show you how to make this transition that you can use on explainer videos, tutorials, or pretty much any kind of video that you want. Somebody asked me to how I made this in a previous video, which is this one, in which I explain about transition shortcuts. And we're going to use that same technique in this video to make this transition happen. So the first thing that you need is a generator. And for that, we're just going to go here to the effects tab and add a solid color. And it can be two seconds long. And then we're going to press Ctrl V to cut it. And we can position it right in between both of our clips or photos. Then here you will go to color, select a color that you want. Also, an extra tip, if you want to save a color to reuse, all you have to do is find whatever color here and then simply drag this and it will save it as a preset that you can reuse, which you can then reuse in any DaVinci Resolve project that you have. In this case, we're going to add the same color that we had in the previous video. And then we're going to add a normal text. You can do fusion text too, but in this case, since we're not animating using fusion, we're just going to add the normal text. Here, you would write whatever text you want. Basically, add any customizations that you want. Okay, now the next thing is you can go to video transitions here or you can simply press Ctrl T and it will add the transitions at each of the points at the beginning and at the end. Now, for this transition, we're going to go to the alignment section and press left. Then we're going to change the type to slide and then slide left to right or whichever direction you want it to be. And then we're going to ease them in and out. If we preview these, we'll see that sliding in already. Now we can go ahead and hold Alt or Command if you're on a Mac. And then that, that way we will copy these here. And then we're just going to center these. That way this one has a little bit of a delay like that. If you want it to be faster, you can play around with the duration or the frames. And one thing that I want to make sure is that I want to change the type of here so we can mix them up like that and it's going to be pushing it down. So it's going to go, come from the top. Now for the ending transition, we can pretty much just hold all and copy these like that. And then we're going to put these in the middle and then we're going to go to the second one and do it that way. And we're doing it this way so that this text actually goes out before the actual slider like that. And then we have our transition pretty much ready. Now what one thing that would really sell the effect or make it be a little bit more noticeable is the sound effect that you add. And for that, you can go to your sound library and then you can search for any sound that you have already saved. In this case, I'm going to press push. For some reason, there's a bug that I have. So some of these are not showing up or not working. But in this case, if I put switch, I will find some here that are a few bonus sound effects from the Theta transition pack that I built last year. Okay, so we can actually just preview the sound here and then you can simply drag this here. And if you don't like it, if like this sound effect by itself has a bit of a, it has like a little of a bass sound, right? And I don't like that. So if we listen to these uh, sound effect that I just added, it has a little bit of a bass sound and I kind of don't want that to be in our sound in our like transition. So what I want to do for these is I'm going to go to the equalizer and I'm going to add a low pass filter. So basically lowering this down, it's going to bring all the lower tones or the bass tones of that sound effects and it's going to leave the high frequency sounds in it. So if we preview these, there it goes. You can also play around with the timing of these if you press R if you want. I'm just gonna leave it like that and then holding all we're actually gonna copy that and also you can play on with the semitones if you want and the volume so if we preview these it's a little bit too fast for the second one right so we're gonna slow it down a little bit and you can also play around with the volume that we have here so that so there's a little bit of a difference between both of the sounds and then to make it go we're simply gonna hold alt and drag this like that And there it goes. If you want, you can also play around with the sound, each of the individual sound effects that you have here. And so that they are, each of them are different. So that is how you would create a simple transition that you can use on any type of video, pretty much where you want to add a step or uh, some type of information in between to clips. I hope this video is helpful and that you can make your own transitions this way if you want to use them. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope to see you in the next video here in Swali. Bye.